you hand that straight into casualty, don't be hanging around, okay? They're not very well. And yeah. if you have any oxygen, give them some oxygen. Yes, okay? of course, Doctor. Right, Jimmy, let's get a move on. All right, North. When the fog of the millennium dissipated, the pre-hospital emergency care council emerged. The scope of practice for six clinical levels was established for pre-hospital emergency care for the first time. Custom and practice, however, remained whereby every patient was transported to an emergency department regardless of severity. Treat and referral is the treatment and non-transport of specified patients to an emergency department by the ambulance service following a 999 call. Treat and referral is an extension of the scope of practice for paramedics and advanced paramedics in Ireland. There is, however, a nervousness about the introduction of treat and referral into Ireland by the medical profession. The ASTRA study, Treat and Referral Outcome Study, is designed to demonstrate that the practice is safe for patients. The paramedics and advanced paramedics will treat the patients appropriately, and if the patient meets the treat and referral criteria, there is an option to leave the patient at home. That last call had treat and referral options, so we're now free to respond to your Delta call. Over. Patients with isolated seizures and patients with low blood sugars, hypoglycemia, will be recruited for the study. The protocols from the New South Wales Ambulance Service Care Project have been adopted for the Irish study. Six emergency departments and 31 ambulance bases will be involved in the research. Patients will be recruited into the study following treatment of a hypoglycemic or an isolated seizure event. Applying the exclusion criteria, patients will be classified as either suitable or not suitable for treat and referral. Clinically suitable patients will be randomised into either transport or referral. Transport is to an emergency department, the control group, or referral is to a GP, the treatment group. All patients will be rang after 72 hours to identify if they had a subsequent event or not. This data will be analysed to prove or disprove the null hypothesis. A satisfaction survey will be carried out on 10% of recruited patients by telephone. These patients will be selected randomly. Some ambulances have to travel a considerable distance to an emergency department. This could take an hour or more just for the inward journey. When offload delays are taken into account, an ambulance could be out of area for two and a half to three hours. Your blood pressure is grand. Good. Everything seems to be okay. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel a bit better now. Um, I would recommend probably if you want to go to your GP, I don't think we need to take you to um, the emergency department okay. if you're happy with us yeah yeah right so i'm going to give you here is an information sheet if you have any worries or concerns okay. and don't you can call us anytime you want to right. okay i'll leave it with you yeah you okay thank you very much. okay you're very good Listen, no bother. thank you See okay you.